Hey guys, what's up? It's Pixelated Apollo, and welcome back to the Battle of Gettysburg. This is day two, part two of the battle. Now, just to give you a little bit of an idea of what's going on, because it is a little bit confusing seeing the battle in parts, Here's a little map, and this will show you what exactly we've seen so far. So, uh, we saw the first part, and that is the assault on Culp's Hill. If you look on the map here, you've got Yule leading the charge for, for the Confederates, and uh, that is where Culp's Hill is located. Now what we're going to watch is the assault on Little Round Top. And now if we look at the map over here, this is where the battle is taking place. Uh, this battle is very interesting. This is where Sickles, uh, he pushes up his army, General Sickles. And Sickles is a very interesting man. If you look, uh, Jackie Fish here is commanding Sickles' force. He was supposed to stay back, and if you look at the defense, there's now a big hole in that in that uh, fish hook formation. And Sickles, well, he, actually, he's a murderer and uh, a pretty wealthy man, and that's how he rose to power. That's how he got his title. Uh, so, not necessarily a good general, but he pushes up his men, breaks the formation. The Confederates see this, so they begin to uh, attack. I think uh, General Hood leads the assault against Sickles. And there we go, Jackie Fish is taking some buildings over there. And even though Sickles was pushed up, I do think in in the real battle he does hold. Uh, Sickles eventually gets hit with a cannonball, and he has to get it am uh, amputated. And they, he actually donated his leg to a museum, which you can see this day. Here's a picture of that. But anyways, what I'm going to be uh, protecting is Little Round Top. And if we look back on the map, you can see Devil's Den over here in Little Round Top. So back to this battle, uh, this back to this uh, map here. Let me just show you the terrain here. So this hill right here is Round Top. This right here is Devil's Den. And then this hill right here is Little Round Top. And this is where the uh, famous 20th of Maine hold. If you ever see the uh, the movie Battle of Gettysburg, uh, it's, it, it kind of is based around that regiment where they hold the very most flank. And it's up to them to protect the flank. It's very, really, really interesting. In fact, I do have the regiment, the 20th of... Uh, Let's see. I don't know. It's, it's it's a huge mess, but I do put them on the flank. We'll see them uh, a little bit later. Uh, but leading this small regiment to Little Round Top is actually um, Sykes, General Sykes. He moves his uh, reserves into position onto Little Round Top because he realizes that the Confederates are pushing hard. They're going to try to, you know, get around the flank of Sickles. Anyways, uh, hopefully that gives you a good idea of what's going on in this battle because it is a little bit confusing, especially if you're not too familiar with Gettysburg. And also, that gives you a good idea of what took place at Culp's Hill, the battle before this. If you haven't seen the battles earlier, I've already uh, I've already uh, recorded day one and part one of day two. If you haven't watched them yet, be sure to check them out. There's links in the description. Uh, but here we go. The battle is starting off pretty quickly. Uh, if we look at all the players here, we got Warrior Sparta, who is leading the charge uh, from Hood, General Hood. And then Deplex Heated is actually going to be the person assaulting a Little Round Top. So hopefully I can do some justice here and make the Union proud. Uh, and yeah, I, I did say that I am commanding the Union, right? Yeah, so this is most of my force here. That I'm just moving up onto the hill. All those flutes of justice. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, the Grand Union. The boys in blue. I love it. I love me some Union. Alright, so here we go. The first shots of the battle have begun. So we've got the 68th Pennsylvania, 1st Brigade, 1st Division, loading up, got the nice, uh, oh, nice old glory flapping in the breeze, the cannonballs striking the front lines, and now the Confederates are firing back, and just look at the scale of this battle, it is insane. It's pretty crazy that, like, this map is huge, but yet these armies almost take up the entire space from red line to red line. There's more artillery uh, cannonballs going in. And uh, by the way, guys, if you're wondering, Sickles, the, the person who gets hit with the cannonball and he gets his leg amputated, he does survive from that injury. And uh, he, he claims that he won the battle for, for the Union. Just a classic, cla something you would hear from a murderer. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, uh, then we got some, uh, artillery now flying into the ranks of the Confederates, and look at them march forward, forming a giant line here. It's gonna, it's about to get messy. Jackie Fish, he's using more of a spread out formation here, 
uh, hoping that you know certain units can support each other. He has the uh, the warehouse uh, garrisoned. There we go. They're really firing now into the Union defenses. So this battle is going to be a little bit laggy, but it's not going to be anything like the first day of Gettysburg. Here's the Union's point of view. We got some Florida boys over here. The 8th Florida Perry, uh, Perry Brigade. Cool. Alright, so let's real quick look at the formations over here. Uh, the Plex Heated is pushing up some troops, and I think we also have a uh, Warrior Sparta pushing up some troops on this side as well. So he's taking on a lot of forces. Uh, Jackie Fish is preparing to hold Devil's Den, uh, which exactly is right here. And I am now forming up my army up on the ridge. I'm not quite in formation, but I got plenty of time. My artillery is now firing down at the uh, the troops of the confederates and this was uh, this assault over here on this side is actually commanded by general longstreet so that's uh what duplex heated is controlling there let's head back to the main fight over here though this is where all the action is using the fencing here the hold though the fences unfortunately don't really give you any kind of like support and cover it looks pretty cool right here. I like this. Got the barn in the background. Come on, man. What unit is this? The 105th Pennsylvania. And we got the 114th Pennsylvania. Alright, let's look at the, the Confederate point of view. And look at this long line of troops he has right here. This is just insane. Oh my god, this mod is so nice. It just makes this battle come to life. It is insane. You'll never experience Getty Gettysburg like this. Making the battle come to life. Oh, the artillery is getting hit hard in this unit over here. Taking a lot of casualties. They're all, look at their morale is yellow. And he probably needs to retreat his artillery piece here. It would really suck to lose this artillery. I think he's doing canister shots. Let's see. Quick, man. Load up the canister. Here we go. Come on, fire back. Give those rebels a hooting and hollering. Oh, they're... Oh, jeez. Another man bites the dust. Are they going to fire? Come on, quickly. Oh, they run. No, they don't fire. That's tragic. Uh, so we lost a pretty important artillery piece there. Jeez, I just love hearing the, uh, the cannonballs just hit the ground very terrifying imagine being in a regiment this is a huge regiment right here 13th mississippi oh my god friendly fire watch out for that boys let's give these yanks a southern welcome all right come on what do we got here it looks like he's holding a little bit better at the uh the barn here uh, he's only taking on about three different regiments here from Alabama, it looks like. Yes, all of them are for Alabama, the Alabama boys. Uh, but he is really struggling on this flank here. But he does have a lot of reserves just kind of waiting, preparing to hold the fencing. Uh, these troops are not even engaged in combat yet. Uh, and then he's got another nice line over here. Be sure to look at the mini-map if you ever want to see, like, the bigger picture of the battle lines. Uh, but it's a pretty large battle here. And, uh, unfortunately, the reason it took me so long to get a replay of Part 2 of the Battle of Gettysburg Day 2 is because this battle kept crashing. There was just so many units, and it was so chaotic. Alright, so let's head back over here. We finally have our first couple regiments of the Confederacy. We got some Texas boys over here. Some of you guys were asking where was Texas. Uh, well, Texas was uh, more focused, or the, the troops from Texas were, uh, were more focused at, at this part of the battle. There we go. He's, he got a volley off there, and now he's marching forward. Got the Virginia battle flag there. The banner of Robert E. Lee. Oh, my goodness. Cannonball taking out this unit. This is the 100, 124th New York 2nd Brigade. Come on, men. Oh, he's outnumbered. So Devil's Den is currently being fought for. Uh, we have more troops. Uh, this is kind of like my reserves over here. 
uh, just kind of waiting. I don't know if I'm going to send them up on Culp's Hill or I'm going to send them over to Jackie Fish if he needs them. Uh, but let's head back over here, see what's going on. Uh, I just love seeing the artillery in the background. Come on, 5th Michigan. So, a lot of people were asking me, like, uh, for that new War of Rights game that's coming out. It's like the uh, first person historically accurate game. Uh, people are asking me what regiments, uh, or who would I fight for? Uh, probably I'm gonna have two regiments for both sides. Maybe, I don't know. I don't even know if you can do that. I don't even know if I can make a regiment. Like, who am I to make a regiment? <laughs> would anyone want to be under my command? Um, but I'll probably make, I mean, it's, it's based around the Maryland campaign, and I'm not sure exactly all of the regiments that fought in that campaign, but it would be cool to, to make a Michigan regiment, because that's where I was born, and then make a Georgia regiment, because that's where I currently live. It's where I live most of my life. Uh, but yeah, he, Jackie Fish is really losing a lot. Oh, look at that volley. That was a beautiful volley there. Uh, but yeah, Jackie Fish is having a tough time, mostly in the center. Uh, the troops in the building here are trying to hold. Uh, they're not getting a ton of shots off, but it's really going to cause uh, Warrior Sparta to have to go into melee to get rid of those buildings. Or at least shoot them down with his artillery. Oh, look at this. You got the, the rebels in the cornfield firing. Come on, boys. <laughs> look at this long line. It's ridiculous. The amount of troops he has. Oof. Very, very intense fighting. And look, oh, he's got a ton of troops. And I think what they're going to try to do is focus down this center and break through the center. Because it is pretty weak right here. We don't have a lot of troops defending. We only have about two regiments defending. Ugh, more troops pushing through the forest here. This uh, this tree line. We got some men running. That's uh, Jackie Fish's uh, troops there. Uh, the reason it says his men are running, and it said, our men are running. The, it, this is actually Jackie Fish's point of view, because my game crashed right at the end. So I couldn't get a replay. So thank you, Jackie Fish, for sending over your replay. So I can uh, get a, a recording of this. Oh, here's 4th of Maine. They were the uh, famous regiment who held Devil's Den. There we go. There's the first volley. Deplex heated pushing. He's got a lot of troops now. You can't see him right now, but they are currently pushing up Round Top and soon will be uh, near Little Round Top. And if you look at my formation, here is the... Uh, wait, that's the 44th New York. Where's the 40th Maine? Where are they? I put them on the flank. What the heck? Did the regiment... Ch oh, here's the 20th Maine. Here they are. This is the famous uh, regiment uh, that... Uh, protected the flank. I don't know why they're not at the very most flank though. That's weird. I thought I put them at the very flank to just, you know, make the, the battle come back to life or, or come to life. Anyways, yeah, there's a pretty tough uh, forest battle here in the trees. I mean, you can't really see any of the enemy. You're just kind of like firing wherever your colonel tells you to fire. Fire straight through those trees, boys. Down with the rebels, up with the star. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go back to see the situation over here. We do have a couple Confederate regiments uh, getting uh, cut down here. Uh, this is 50th Georgia breaking from the fight. There is a little bit of a hole into their their lines, but it's not really a big deal, and we're still on the defense. Sickles, you're making a big big problem here. You better be holding. You you push forward. You hold. Damn it. All right. 40th New York holding back such numbers. I mean, the Confederates had so many troops, at least in this scenario, they have a ton of troops. And they get they are getting closer and closer to the barnyard. And they're just like firing through the windows. Oh, another unit breaks from the fight. We still have the 73rd New York holding the holding the line here. Come on, guys. For the Union! Battle cry of freedom! <laughs> uh, the barn- the warehouse though is holding. I wish they were firing a little bit more. You get like one or two shots outside of the building, which is not really that great. Uh, but maybe they can hold a little bit better in melee once the Confederates charge. 
Another regiment breaks from the, f the the fight, which is over here, which is no surprise. I mean, look how out outnumbered they are. Uh, Jackie Fish really needs to reposition his troops here uh, because he is starting to get a little bit overwhelmed. Uh, we're we're kind of going with more of a kiting defense. We're trying to have layers of defense, and uh, what we're going to do is like once the uh, the enemy gets really close, we're going to fall back and prepare the second line of defense. In case you, if you didn't know what kiting was, it's basically like, like shooting, running back, shooting, running back. Uh, but I do have a couple regiments over here helping uh, Jackie Fish. I noticed that his uh, 53rd Pennsylvania is getting just cut down, so I've got my regiment pushing up. This is actually one of my, uh, my, uh, my reserves over here. So I'm gonna get them in position. Ah, oh, this mod is just so good. It's so good. Here's Deplex Heated. He's pushing a couple troops in Devil's Den. He's got his 17th Georgia boys getting awfully close to the front lines. I mean, look how cool this is. You guys gotta try this mod out. It is so good. Even if you're, like, not into the American Civil War, just give it a try. Because it's so cinematic and just so... The scale of the battles are so intense. Even if you just fight the battles against the AI. Though I highly recommend that you fight the battles against other players because that will uh, help with the lag. There we go. Uh, so I might have gotten a couple friendly fire on the poor 53rd of Pennsylvania. Uh, but he needs to move them out of the way because I got a fresh regiment ready to take on the numbers of uh, the large numbers of the Confederates. Uh, I do have the higher ground though, so I have a little bit of a terrain advantage. Look at that, you see the artillery crashing down into my regiment? He is focusing his uh, his rebel artillery on my forces. I love the artillery in this game, it's just so cool. Alright, here we go, they're loading up. They're gonna get another volley. You can see my regiment in the background there, up on that hill. Let's see if they can get any good shots here. Come on, boys. Let's load up, give them some lead. <laughs> Come on, take... Any day now? Uh, but we are breaking some rebels. If you look at the white squares, that represents breaking troops. There we go. He fires. Let's see if he gets any hits. Oh, that was awfully... I mean, could you imagine just standing there? You see the artillery. You see it fire. You see the, like, the flash in the background. And you're just praying that that cannonball misses you. Uh, but we got a pretty brutal defense right here through the trees. Alright, let's head back over this way. Uh, the battle is getting extremely close here. The, the troops are getting very close. Look at all the Confederates. You can see them through the tree line. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, more running from Jackie Fish's army. Sickles, you idiot! <laughs> you will not be the defeat of this, this battle. Hold! Your men must hold! Now he's using canister shot over here. He's trying to, uh, try, just trying to cut down as many rebels as he can. And, uh, we do have a lot of melee going on. Here we go, a desperate charge from the Union. This is the 73rd New York. Uh, but they're just so outnumbered against the 8th Alabama. Are they gonna fire? Oh, that's nasty! That's like execution style right there. Uh, I'm surprised this unit is still fighting. That is kind of impressive. There we go. I think they're running now. Wow. Good good job there. Uh, still got the troops in the barn, though. Looks like Warrior's just walking right by the barn. So he's going to charge in now? Yeah, he's got a couple units. He's going to charge them in. The epic fight for the warehouses are... Actually, no. No. I don't know what he's doing. Is he going to take the barn or not? I don't know, but these troops here are getting pretty uh, pretty depleted. So he can certainly win and... In, in, here he goes. He can win in melee. Oh, look at him just storm in. Put in the flag. Show those Yanks. You know, to show those Yanks that we've got a flag. No, I don't know. There's a lot of breaking over here as well. Oh, yep, some Confederates breaking. Uh, but it's still not going to be enough. I mean, look at this long line of troops. And the center is completely open. So I was a little bit worried about that because I thought... They were just going to push through and then surround us on both flanks. So this flank over here and then this flank over here. So this is the part where it's like Jackie, me and Jackie Fish were coming up with an idea. We're like, well, we needed to just fall back. Uh, Sickles needs to fall back his troops to where they were, they were originally before they pushed up forward. 
go. More fighting going on. 81st Pennsylvania. You got a lot of Pennsylvania boys out here. Fighting for their state. Fighting for the future of the Union. Artillery just firing down. Trying to kill as many Confederate regiments as possible. And the epic battle for the warehouses is underway. And oh, they're losing those damn Confederate bayonets. They're like, charge in there boys. Give them the cold steel. Uh, but yeah, we are falling back. If you look here, we've got a lot of Union regiments falling back into position uh, because we are worried about this uh, this gaping hole in the uh, the center here. And my 140 40th New York still holding this center position. They've lost a lot of good men here, but they're gonna fight for Devils Devils End. And here we go, guys. The battle for Little Round Top has begun. We've got Deplex Heated pushing up his uh, troops for the hill. And my men are now putting down uh, some some uh, some volleys there. The 20th of Maine. Why are they not at... I, I promise you, there must have been like something weird with the replay. Because I swear I had the 20th of Maine located on this side right here. This is supposed to be 20th of Maine. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I just made a mistake. I, that's like one of the like I don't how would I make that mistake though because I was like no I'm making sure to recreate this battle I'm gonna show why 20th of Maine was so awesome uh, but yeah unfortunately they're not at the flank uh, so Deplex is just kind of like testing out the waters over here he's gonna fall back his troops he realized that the defense is pretty strong and uh, he's gonna rethink rethink his strategy uh, but Devil's Den is thinning out here. What do we got over here? The 4th Main. This is the, uh, this is the regiment that was famous for... I think I already said that, but they were famous of holding Devil's Den. Alright, so the, the battle in the trees still going on. And look at this. This is a big issue right here. Those damn rebels pushing up on our flank. Uh, it's probably now time to get my troops out of here. This is also one of my reserves over here. This is the 16th Michigan. And they are about to be surrounded here. Yeah, look at they're forming up, ready to fire. Here's their point of view. They're like, fire! Fire, boys! Fire! <laughs> Let's give them some biscuits and grits. Alright. Let's see what's going on here. Yes, look at. Ooh. Yeah. This is. A, it's kind of a strange formation here, but uh, Jackie Fish, I think he's just trying to actually flank around the Confederates. If we look here, we do have a couple regiments. Firing at the flank. This is actually really, really good, and this is this is really promising. So let's see if uh, see if we can break one of their flanks and kind of do a counter flank on them. I mean, this is this was just so cool. It really does feel like more realistic, like the combat, where you're just trying to break through these flanks, and it it's not like instant fast. There's a lot of just sitting around watching the troops shoot. Which, you know, it, for this time period, that's pretty much what it was like. Uh, but this flanking fire right here is really good. If you look, he's got some regiments uh, breaking. The Florida boys. Yep. Breaking from the fight. Causing fear amongst the ranks. The Alabama boys are like, Ugh. Get out of here, Florida regiment. You're not man enough for this battle. Spits in the general direction of them breaking. <laughs> More artillery firing. Let's see. Uh, let's see what's going on back over in the center. We do look at this. The first regiment pushing through the center. Oh, they disappeared. What kind of magic is that? Uh, no, they're just hidden in the trees. Um, let's see what's going on. Uh, I'm still holding right here. I'm. Uh, why? Why am I holding? There we go. I fall back. Uh, there's no point in sac. I was going to sacrifice these units to buy more time, but there's really no point, and I'm gonna fall back because Warrior Sparta is pushing on my flank here. Uh, the 4th Texas Regiment, Robertson Brigade, Hood Division. Yeah, here they go. They're going to fire through the trees. You see my troops there? Come on, boys. Get out of there. Oh, you see some blood spray out? Oh, that's too bad. I, I am going to get the regiment out before they, uh, they break. And I've got my artillery still firing. Still just trying to take down the Confederates. And uh, let's see what's going on around, uh, around Little Round Top. 
Uh, we do have one of the generals. I'm actually shooting at him. I didn't... Oh, I took out a ton of troops in the back line there. I didn't necessarily uh, mean to go after Major General Hood. It's just that my art artillery couldn't see any of the other units, so he was, like, focusing them down. Uh, but I was telling, like, Deplex, I was like, hey, get your general out of there. I don't want to kill your general, because that's, that's kind of lame, so... Um, actually, he, he was the one who brought it up to me. I didn't even realize it. But he does get him out. Oh, jeez. Another, uh, another, uh, artillery crew gunned down this, the 8th so South Carolina. They actually don't really have a great angle here. If you look at that. There's a bit of a hill. Uh, but more Confederates breaking over here. So this epic fence line right here holding. Come on, men. And look at this flank. This is a really good flank. Warrior Sparta trying to reposition his men. He's got to take care of that flank. So he is falling back this line right here. Because he doesn't want to get outflanked. And uh, pretty nice. Pretty good job there. Jackiefish kind of trying to turn around this battle. I mean, he's been on constant retreat here. Six, six new, uh, new Jersey. Oh, the artillery. I love it. Uh, but this artillery is... I, I don't think he's in range of the guns. Maybe he is. I don't know. Oh, you see that cannonball just fly by? That was amazing. I love that stuff. This is why I played Total War, damn it. <laughs> just so good. 64th New York holding the fencing. A uh, lot of dead uh, Yankees over here. A lot of dead Union troops. Uh, I do have one unit pushing forward, so this is my unit of uh, the 146 New York. I'm trying to help out Jackfish. I'm just trying to form some kind of battle line. And if we look back over here, we've got another push from Deplex Heated. He's trying to get his men in formation here. And again, he's going to fall back. He's not being too hasty. He doesn't want to lose his uh, entire flank over here. And when I saw that he was breaking from the fight... Alright, sorry about that guys, I had to pause it there because some Jehovah Witness went to my door and my dogs were going crazy so I didn't want to have my dogs in the background barking. And I was like, come on guys, don't you know I'm in the middle of a battle? No, I just didn't answer the door. <laughs> Anyways, back, back to the fight. Uh, this is just such a strong line, I mean, the regiments look so healthy, they're not even like disheartened at all, they've got a lot, you know, they have strong morale. And it just seems like this long wave of confederates, like, there's nothing we can do against it. It just seems unstoppable. This is the best bet for Jackie Fish over here, this flank. But Warrior is repositioning, and it's going to get hard for Jackie Fish to try to outflank him. Because he's just got so many troops, he can just reposition them and protect the backside of the main fight. Firing through the cornfields here. Look at this line. This is like the scale. I know I've said this like a thousand times, but this is so great. Devil De uh, Devil's Den is uh, getting overrun. And uh, this is where the great assault of Culp's Hill will soon begin. Here is uh, Deplex now pushing forward. Pushing back forward his troops. The, the epic skirmish at Little, Little Round Top. Did I call it Culp's Hill? If I ever call this hill Culp's Hill, I'm sorry. Uh, but this is the fight at Little Round Top. <laughs> There's so many hills. I get confused. Alright, so uh, more of my regiments trying to hold here. I'm trying to fall back. We're doing some more uh, kiting tactics. But we got to be careful. We can't fall back too far or we're going to, you know, show a big flank in the uh, 20th Indiana. We'll get rid of some of these uh, notifications here. There we go. They got a pretty good uh, angle here firing at these lines. Uh, the only regiment that's fighting in this fight right here that is mine is this regiment. Uh, they don't really have a great angle, but what can you do? I'm just trying to do something, trying to help Jackie Fish, uh, because he was doing so well over here. And yeah, he's given up on that flank. You see these troops falling back. Probably pretty smart. I think he's going to fall back to a little round top. And the artillery. Oh no, another artillery piece getting gunned down. Let's see if he can get a canister shot here. 
Come on, quickly. Load it up. Oh, it's going to take you forever. Oh, this is the last artillery piece. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Fire. What? What is that guy doing? Who are you? Are they going to fire or not? There we go. About time. Jeez. Let's see. Can they get a hit? Oh, yes. They took out some rebels there. Uh, beautiful. Got some lines over here. These guys are uh, protecting the retreat. Uh, I think they've done enough fighting now, though, and they are going to fall back. More more regiments trying to hold against this flank. Look at the rebels just don't even care. There's so many of them firing back. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, look at that. Just constant our men are running, sir. Ah, oh, man, I'm running, sir. This isn't good right here. He really can't lose this position either. Because then these guys are going to get outflanked. And uh, now we are falling back our troops. Come on, fire. Give them the lead. Give them those mini balls. <laughs> That's kind of weird when you say it like that. But uh, the bullets they were using are called mini balls. Or the mini ball. <laughs> there we go. 44th New York holding. I guess now they're going to hold the flank instead of the, instead of the 20th May. Uh, pretty, pretty, uh, it, well, it's not as, like, intense as uh, Jackie Fish aside, but the fight for Little Round Top uh, is, is still going on. Oh, our artillery right in front of those troops. I love seeing artillery. It looks like we had a couple artillery shots over here. A lot of dead Confederates. Lots of dead Confederates. And if we look here, um, Deplex Heated, he's trying to outmaneuver my men. And I need to make sure to uh, have my guys ready in position. I cannot let him outflank. I mean, this is it. This is the, the, the only flank. And I've got my artillery firing. I did lose a couple artillery pieces to his artillery, which he's currently pushing forward. He's getting it into a better position. He's going to go up on this hill. This is the, the hill around Devil's Den. And uh, we do have some, some Confederates pushing forward. Looks like we've got some Georgia regiments, a Texas regiment. Very cool. Yeah, and we're on the run. They got us on the run, boys. <laughs> Those damn rebels. Jackie Fish reforming his lines. And, uh, I mean, this is it for him. I mean, he is going to continue to fall back to a little round top. Kind of like go this way with his troops. Uh, but as of right now, he's just trying to hold as much ground as possible. But we just don't have enough troops. It's just like, we can't kill these guys. It's so cool to see the regiments in the background fire. I love it. I love it. Alright. What's going on at Little Round Top? Things do get interesting over here. And I try to recreate the battle. I'll, sh I'll show you later when it happens. Uh, but it, yeah, so far it's just a pretty big gunfight. A line battle here. Yeah! Give him some lead. There we go. There we go. Alright. Jackfish still falling back. Look at his his regiments are just like, what do we do? Fall back. He just doesn't have enough troops to try to fight off this long line of Confederates. We have one regiment still inside the, the house here. This little uh, warehouse. Not sure what they're firing at, but um, you got the general right here. Is this General Hood? Oh, no, no. This is Anderson. Major General Anderson. Anderson. Alright, here we go. Warrior Sparta. Now a pit, uh, now maneuvering his regiments to face Jackie Fish's defenses. We are on the run. It's definitely not over. Uh, the balance of power is not in our favor, but... It, it's there's Like, hope is not lost. Our artillery could do a lot of damage here. You never know. We could get a huge chain route. But look at this. I'm now maneuvering my artillery at the flank. So what did I what I wanted to do here is actually do canister shot. So originally this artillery was up on this hill on top of Little Round Top. But I am moving them to the flank. And I'm charging out my 44th New York. And this was supposed to be the uh, 20th main. But instead it's the 44th New York charging down. 
And what I wanted to do is try to get this unit into melee because I was pretty sure I could beat them because they're the 44th Alabama. And this, this unit here, if you look, they've got some chevrons. And I think I outnumbered him. Let's see. How many... Oh, it doesn't say how many troops he has in the regiment. Uh, but he keeps just running away. And I was just like, what is going on here? This is not good. I think I had a couple units of reserve uh, back here. I pushed them forward to try to re re uh, protect the uh, the lines here. We've got another regiment running down as well. So he's kind of got this regiment surrounded now. So I almost went for the trap here. Here we go. Let's see if they're going to get a charge. He's going to try to reposition his men here. Let's see if he can get a volley off. I don't think so. I think my men are going to get there. Give them the bayonets, boy. Boys. <laughs> Not just one. There we go. Pretty good fight here. But then we've got this regiment that's moving into position. And I have my regiment. Let's see. Here they are. This is the, the unit I'm going to send down the 9th uh, Massachusetts. What are they doing? Charge down there. I need to protect this regiment. Uh, if you look here, the Confederates are breaking. But, oh look, mine start to break now. Because they, they can sense the troops behind them. Uh, but it's not good. It's kind of like a one for a one, but my unit was way better. And, oh! There's that, that secondary charge. That, uh, that flanking charge. Come on, men. Oh, and they break. That was really clumsy, clumsy, clumsy of me. And I didn't move my men quick enough. This unit should have been running a long time ago. Like, get over there in position. Fire down. Because I have the upper hill, upper hill here. And I can definitely fire down on those troops. Let's see. I'm desperately just trying to get a volley off. Let's see if I can get one. Come on. Fire. Nope. Di oh, there we go. We did. There we go. Okay, cool. We got a good volley there. But we didn't really kill that many because they're so far away. The, uh, the accuracy, not as good. Alright, so this is the situation now. Look at Jackie's army. He still has tons of troops. And he is going to hold the barnyard. I don't know if this... Or barnyard. The barn house. The warehouse. I don't know if this is an actually good idea. Because it limits the, uh, the amount of, like, volleys you can fire off. Because only, like, one or two shots go off here through the windows. And I know he's trying to fight in melee, but I think the Confederates have better melee capabilities, or they just have better morale so they can stay in the fight longer. Uh, but I think he should have just used these two regiments to fall back. Let's see. We've got uh, some boys from Mississippi. They're, I think those two units are going to charge in. And then we've got this regiment back here. This is the one that was in the, uh, the warehouse. Firing. Warrior Sparta, he's got three regiments to take care of him. I mean, he just has so many troops, he can he can sacrifice three units to protect the flank. Line up. Ah! There we go. Look at that unit's just instantly breaking. Alright. Fire, man. Come on. Oh, their guns sound weird. <laughs> there they go. They break. And he's just ignoring the, the house here. I think he's going to fire at it with artillery. I think so. Yeah, I mean, whatever. It's not like they're getting a lot of shots off. You're not going to lose a lot of men. So Sickle's a bold move to push forward is not working for him. And uh, what's going on over here? Yeah, if you look, Deplex is now maneuvering his troops all down to the flank. He's He noticed that he had a lot of success over here. So he's instead of just taking on the, uh, the, the defense head on... He's going to maneuver his forces, and I'm actually going to maneuver my men as well. well I got, like, my three regiments ready to, to counter his. Ah, oh, man, this is still a pretty close battle. We have the, uh, the terrain, the upper ground here, the high ground, but they certainly have the numbers, and they've seen more success in this battle than we have so far. I'm now focusing my artillery on his artillery. I gotta take out those pieces because they are going to destroy my lines. And I don't think I'm really having a lot of success taking them out. Oh man, that was close. Oh uh, yep, this is the final stand right here from Jackie Fish. This is all he can do. His units here are now in melee. And yeah, look, they break. They're like, get, get out of here. I'm sure most of these uh, troops are being captured as prisoners. And now we've got, let's see, four regiments pushing up this way. 
We got very depleted, very tired, thinned out regiments for the Union. He's got three units in the barn here. Actually, four units in the barn. That's a ridiculous amount. And uh, this is my regiment right here in the tree line. Helping Jackie Fish hold this flank. The rest of my army is preparing to fight over here. They're still not quite in range, so Duplex is doing a great job of just sneaking around our lines. I do have one one regiment back here holding this flank here, using the walls. Because as of right now, like his regiment's disappeared. I think they're in this peach orchard. Uh, but he is getting troops behind us, which is not good. I'm pushing down some regiments at the hill here to fire at these guys who are not in range. For my 155th Pennsylvania. So this is pretty good. I think I'm winning this engagement here. 91st Pennsylvania. There we go. What a, just, this battle, what an epic battle. It's going on for ages. Ah, hopefully we break these guys. I mean, his regiments aren't exactly huge. I mean, the, we. I mean they're large, but who knows? We could break them. Jeez. Just kind of fly over all these troops. Look at them all. The final push for Little Round Top to break the Union defenses and to take victory at Gettysburg. Uh, this is where I need to push back my men. Come on, fall back. There's too many of them. Uh, look, they're going to get focused down. And this is, see, he actually falls back. He uh, retreats back his troops here because uh, I was winning that engagement. And around about this time, my game actually crashes and the AI takes over my troops. Yeah, see, like, why am I forming up over here? I mean, I think I'm just trying to get a better position against this regiment. I'm not quite sure exactly when I crashed out of the game, but it was around this time. 48. Oh! What was that? Oh, my, my uh, artillery. Trying to take out that regiment there. Trying to protect our flanks. I think it, once you see my troops do like something really weird and stupid, then it's probably the AI taking over. I pushed down the regiments here. I probably shouldn't have pushed down, but I really wanted to help out Jackie Fish. There we go. Come on, guys. For the Union. For Uncle Sam. Yeah, because this long line, oh my god, it's ridiculous. What can we do against such reckless hate? Got a nice defense in the tree line, and we have some artillery over here. I think he's going to unlimber them and try to get some uh, canister shots on those lines. Ah, actually, it looks like Jackie Fish is falling back. Yeah, he's falling back. I'm falling back my troops as well. This is, uh, remember, this is my regiment here. Yeah, we're just kiting, constantly kiting. Uh, but we are running out of space. I mean, pretty soon we've got nothing nothing else to do. And look at Deplex heated. He moved over his regiment this entire time. He was marching through this uh, this way here. And he's got more regiments going this way. We, had, we do have a little bit of a gunfight over here. Some guys from Georgia. There we go. I'm trying to win on this flank. So I can focus the units that are they're fighting over here. To go back to the other part of the fight. Artillery still in pretty good positions here. Firing from the, the hillside on Little Round Top. Oh jeez, this regiment's getting cut down. Look at that. 148th Pennsylvania. Yeah, fall back. Yeah, good move there. Uh, he's still going to hold the warehouse, though. Ah, oh, man. Less and less Union flags. And it seems like there's more and more Dixie flags. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at these regiments. They're not even, like, spaced out all the way. I mean, look how thick this regiment is. Like, that's how many troops he has. Jeez. Uh, we were really hoping we would kill a lot more than this. Oh, this is where the AI takes over. Look at my men. What are they doing? Look at this. They just want to die. That's, that sucks. 
Uh, yeah, you know, even though I crashed at the end, we were just going to keep the replay because we've never gotten this far in the battle because usually someone always crashes. So hopefully for the, the final day of Gettysburg, it uh, doesn't crash as much, as much and we can get the battle out a little bit earlier. Uh, but yeah, what is my artillery? D Ugh, that sucks. Uh, at least this line is in a decent position here. And this is the 20th of Maine. Pretty good uh, angle as well. It's so cool seeing that smoke fly up. 17th Georgia Regiment. They did such a good job with the model in here. Yeah, look look at my regiments. Like what in the earth AI? You're so stupid. My guys are just getting gunned down over here. <sighs> That's terrible. And Jackie Fish putting up his last hopeless stand. The balance of power still kind of the same. There's still a little bit of hope. You never know, but it's very unlikely. There we go. The, the, the final push of the Confederates to take victory and to destroy the Union lines. Artillery is just bombarding my position. Destroying my defenses is their point of view. And look, look at this. I'm so mad at the AI. It's not like we could have like turned this battle around. I mean, regardless, I think we would have uh, lost here. But it's like, come on. I would have gotten more kills at least. But, like these got the artillery just like... Oh, we're just gonna stand here. Don't mind us. You know, we're, we're not stuck in a gunfight or anything. We're just gonna sit here in our proud uniforms. Look at him. So proud. Look at that face. That is a face that he is not phased at all. He doesn't even care. Come on, you are the 20th of Maine. Down with the rebels and up with the star. Oof, artillery. Yeah, look at this long line of rebels firing onto our position. Jackie Fish again falling back. I mean, that's all he can do. Man, this was this was quite the long battle. Here's a here's another uh, long line of Confederates. They're just trying to penetrate through our lines. Uh, they're making a lot of holes at this point, especially on my side. I mean, look at this. I think even my general is over here. Yeah, what is this? What is this? <laughs> it's like he's forming like a, a new box. What is he doing? My general's like right in the center. He's like, protect me, boys. Yeah, Deplex heated now, really pushing on Little Round Top. Uh, but, you know, hey, I still got a lot of regiments over here. And, you know, it's not like they have a lot of troops to push up on this hill. And the three, wow, the three regiments down here are still alive. Fantastic. You are the 91st Pennsylvania. You will hold and you will fight. Oh, look at, look at the, the, the vegetation over here. Oh, okay, they break. All right, there, finally they break. Yeah, it's not like the, the Confederate forces really need any like hardcore strategy at this point it's just a a great push uh, well, I actually he's holding a little bit in this uh, warehouse let's see if they can up oh, no they lost <laughs> uh, the Union oh no, they they are breaking them though so even though they took the warehouse they're breaking the troops here so outnumbered doing everything they can to hold Seventy second New York. You will hold. Damn you, you will hold. The artillery is getting gunned down. Uh, the balance of power is still uh still hanging on. It's not like impossible for us to win. But at this point we're gonna need a massive chain route. 
Oh, this is this is a really cool scene right here. With the trees and the, the fencing. Third South Carolina. These regiments are so thick. There's a lot of troops in them. Very healthy regiments. And look at look at this formation. This is a cool formation. It's like a little zigzag formation. Oh, look at this. There's a big hole in the Confederate lines. He could flank this unit around and, well, well, he can't do that because he's got no, like, anvil over here. His troops are, yes, crumbling. Massive chain route. And my troops are breaking as well. This is what's left of my, uh, my army. Man, I still had a ton of troops. It's so unfortunate that I, I crashed right here. But it's cool to see the battle because I actually didn't get to see this part. <laughs> Because, obviously, I crashed. Nice little line battle between two regiments. What do we got? The 4th Alabama for, versus the, uh, let's see, the 9th Massachusetts. Oof. Bloody fight. Very bloody fight. Yeah. I mean, I could have won over on this flank. I think if I was controlling this, I would have done maybe even like a bayonet charge because I feel like I outnumbered them. Oh, this is lame. I could have I could have won on this engage engagement against the Plex Heated. Uh, if I if I did win on this front, I would have sent back the troops after I defeated his lines and just went up on this ridge. I could have fired down and actually attacked this flank over here. Oh, this isn't good. He's getting outflanked here. Nice uh, flanking fire. Oh, look at all the Union boys. Oh, rest in peace, my sweet prince. Uh, more troops breaking. He's down to just really small regiments here. Oh, he's got bayonets, boys. Look at that blob of Confederate, those rebels. Got another regiment charging in. There goes a, a general, one of our generals. There we go, the final charge. Through the fencing, the generals are now charging and they're like, come on, we're not giving up this position. Oh, the guy's fighting with the flag. Desperate, desperate situation. Oh, now he's running with the flag. Oh, <laughs> uh, there goes another general. Uh, yes, yes, it is a black day. This is a very, very sad day for the Union. You know what's really funny? After like redoing all the battles, the days of Gettysburg, every single day has been the opposite of what really happened. So on the first day, the Union actually has to fall back, but we actually hold our ground. And then at Culp's Hill, the Union gets defeated by the Confederates. And now at Little Round Top, the, it seems like the Confederates are going to destroy the Union defenses. Got a little bit of a melee going on here. See, this was this is what I'm talking about. If I was in control of this fight, I would have gotten my men into me into melee quicker, and just overwhelm these uh these Confederate lines here. Because I mean, they're not really supported. I would be able to flank around them. Uh, but oh, here we go. We've got three regiments pushing forward. They're gonna. This is probably gonna be the nail in the coffin. They're gonna surround my guys. I think I'm. I think the AI is repositioning my troops to to face them here. Oh, jeez. And here's a here's a push from Warrior Sparta, just getting rid of uh, what's left of Jackie Fish's army. I think all he has left here is some artillery pieces. Yep, that's it. That is it, guys, for Jackie Fish. Now all we get to watch is the AI put up a last defense. Oh, my God. Look at the artillery just wrecked my own regiment there. Did you see that? That's stupid. Just stupid. This line battle still going on. It's actually pretty close. Both sides taking uh, casualties. Both sides getting some kills. My artillery is still... Oh, this isn't my artillery. This is the 146 New York. Wow, this unit's still alive? Wow, that's kind of crazy. Look at all my men, though. I have so many men left. That sucks. It, it really does suck that I crashed there. Here we go. Oh, are they going to charge? They're going to line up. Oh, the artillery firing at their flank. Line up. Line up and fire! Just fire! What are you doing? Don't charge them in melee, they outnumber you, just... AI. 
AI. Oh, more cannonballs coming in. Coming in. Okay, so I guess they're just gonna walk into each other. Okay, good move there, AI. Very smart. What are you gonna do with this regiment? Just kind of walk again. Just walk past these troops. There. Oh, you're gonna charge? There they go. Sweet. Uh, but my guys are breaking. Unfortunately, they didn't just sit and fire. That would have been a much better idea. And wow, they like instant, instant break. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do now, guys, is just kind of fast forward. I mean, watching the AI try to fight these guys is, is kind of silly. Uh, they're really not going to do much here. And I think the Confederates are going to do a good old, good old charge into my Union boys. And that's going to be it. That's going to be the fight. And we've got the uh, two Georgia regiments uh, pushing forward. we got uh, the 17th and we've got the 2nd. And uh, that will be certainly the nail in the coffin. My general using his rally ability. Uh, we'll go ahead and press play here. Watch this uh, pretty epic melee. We even got the general in the mix. I'm going to paint a picture of this battle. So, I mean, yes, the Confederates are probably going to win this fight. I think I could have done a little bit better if I didn't crash. I think I could have killed a lot more... Uh, more regiments uh, but what can you do it was still a lot of fun uh, recreating the the battle of Gettysburg and here's the rest more troops is charging into melee overwhelming my men just using their numbers to defeat my men there's no reason to sit back and just fire and uh, let's see what else do we oh my no yeah that's that's it guys yes all hope is lost all hope is lost up there we go. The final charge of my artillery. Oh, man. And, oh, this line battle's still going on. That's cool. <laughs> I think this is my last unit, but they should break. Yeah, they're breaking. And that is going to be the fight, guys. I hope you enjoyed the battle at Little Round Top. Uh, this is Jackie Fish commanding Sickles here. Let's see. He got... He got 248... Uh, man, that's it? He That's all he got for kills? Wow. How did they get so many kills on us? Uh, I, I did even worse. I got like half that. I think I've could, I could have gotten more. Uh, but uh, Longstreet was Deplex. He got 3,200. And Hood was Warrior Sparta getting 2,773. So in reality, the Union holds here. And they continue to fight throughout the third day of the battle. But next battle will be the final part of Gettysburg. So the miniseries will come to a close here soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I, ho I hope it gives you a good idea what um, the Battle of Gettysburg was like. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.